guys, it's Yonzo 2040, and today I'll be reviewing Super Saiyan Go Tanks. So, uh, let's get to unboxing, I guess. And let's get this. Okay, it's kind of hard to get through there. So. Okay, did I get it out? Okay. I'm not the best with scissors, but. Okay, I will have. Uh, you know, my mom helped. So, um, also, I guess just telling you, it is uh, cheaper to buy the Go Tent figure on Barnes & Noble, I think, than buying it on Amazon. So, uh, yeah, I bought this from Barnes & Noble. So, just telling you. Yes, if you want to know. Okay. Did mess up the box a little bit. Oh, well. So, let's open it. Okay, his foot came out. So, uh, probably have to take this out. For sure. Okay. Leg out. Leg out. Okay. He is falling apart. That is not a good sign. If you want a figure, you don't want it going. to get this back on so first I'll get his uh, shoe back on okay okay it's not in very good but okay there you go so now I got his foot all good now we just have to do this I don't really like that they always do like these floating pieces because it kind of if they fall out it is kind of hard to get him back in sometimes. Luckily, it's not that hard for him. But, so, here we have Super Saiyan Go Tanks. So, he got, the, he got that piece on it. Oh. Wow, this figure is really falling apart. So, uh, it seems like uh, his parts are pretty easy to get out. Get out. It's unlike Majin Buu, because, um, so, let's just change his hands. And then I can show off the hands. So I'll get this art off. So he has like um, these two like you know kind of like battle pose hands. Oh, they fell on the floor. Whoop. Uh. Oh, I got those from the floor. So, um, you know, so, yeah, I guess I can just put them on here. So, right, got that hand, and then put on the fist hand for now, because, okay, again, wiggle technique. Okay. Wait, okay, I guess, again, the hand's not coming on, okay. Well, um, yeah, I, uh, the, the older figures had easier hands, so, uh, I don't know what's going on, but, uh, they made the hands hard to use, but, um, okay. So, at the bottom, they have this in here. Let me just kind of try to get this out. I don't want to destroy it, but I, I guess... So, uh, now I'm doing, like, a power-up pose, I guess, um, he wouldn't really have a peace sign, but, uh, it's not changing, but, uh, so now we have his, um, like, ghosts, I, I forgot what they're called, but, uh, he has these little ghost guys that I can use, the other one, so, they're gonna 
have these little stands on the bottom. But, uh, so he's, like, picking his nose, kind of, like, teasing. Like, you know, kind of, like, boo, I think. Because on the box here, we can see he's, like, and he's doing that towards boo. So, well, uh, let's now get to articulation. So, these guys are just made, like, rubber, so they can't move. But for him, he can go forwards, backwards. His, I guess, these, it can move side to side. This kind of makes the legs kind of, this leg not really big. I guess it can move, but it does kind of, it should be fine. So, you go forward, backwards. He has a double jointed elbow. So, that's cool. And, um, head can go all the way around if you wanted to. Um, his hands can do that too. Go. You can't really do it as. I feel like this is like restraining it a tiny bit, but not really that much. So, again, feet swivel forward, backwards. One, one jointed elbow. Uh, I feel like for. I thought that they had a uh, two jointed elbows, but uh. As you can see here, there's no, like, caps, so they can't really do that. So, uh, yeah, that will be the end for uh, this review. So, see you guys next time. Bye!